So in this video, we want to differentiate x, y equals x squared times the sine of x. And we're going to be using the product rule to do this, okay? So to do that, we'll differentiate. We, you can write it as uh, dy dx. Um, you can write it as y prime. I'm just going to write y prime for right now, okay? It depends on what form you're doing, and there's tricky rules. But for the purpose of this, we're just learning how to do this basic differentiation. So we're going to follow our step up here. Now, one thing I suggest when you're first starting out uh, deriving um, using the product rule, state what f of x is equal to. All right, so we're going to say f of x is, we have our two parts, is equal to x squared. And we're going to state that g of x is our sine of x. All right, it's good to state that beforehand. So then, if f of x equals x squared, what is f prime of x? And we know that using the, um, um, the power rule, that is 2x, okay? And g of x, well, g prime of x, right? Is, if our g of x is sine of x, g prime of x will be cosine of x, okay? So if I want to differentiate this, I'm going to follow the formula that's written up here. And it says that f times g prime, so f being x squared, all right? I'm just following that formula, that is our f times g prime, which we have stated to be cosine of x, plus g, which is sine of x, plus sine of x, times f prime, which is 2x. Now, if we want to clean this up, we can. Uh, sometimes we put the x variables in front, so it's just x squared cosine of x plus 2x sine of x. And now we have... Uh, derives the basic function of y equals x squared times sine of x, okay? Now, eventually, you'll get more comfortable and won't be writing this f, f prime, g, g prime, but it's a good, great way to start, so you make sure you, you get the product rule down. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and thanks, yeah.